one of the most common questions that I get from clients is, can we have a hamburger menu or a, a mobile menu on the desktop? A lot of clients just don't like having all of the items across the header. And I get it, it can look a little bit messy. Usually this is clients who have a lot more of a focus on the design aesthetic of the site. So think architects, design firms, things like that. And this worked really well for them. It, it can be used on any site, but these are the types of clients that I've noticed seem to want this feature most. It's a nice way of minimizing the header, decluttering that hero section, and really just sort of tidying everything up. So you actually used to be able to do this on Squarespace 7 without code. You used to be able to basically adjust the mobile breakpoint of where the mobile menu would come into play. On Squarespace 7.1, you can't do that. I'm not sure why they got rid of it. There must have been a reason, but you can't do that anymore at the time of filming anyway. So what we need to do is put a little bit of code together. There are lots of codes floating around online, some more complicated than others, some with more functionality than others. But this code I found to be the simplest solution which offers the highest ROI. And that is basically the fact that it's only CSS. You don't need to use any overly complicated code or HTML. It's just, I think off the top of my head, maybe like 12 lines of code, something like that. You can just copy and paste it. It's gonna be linked in a blog post in the description. So you can just copy and paste it straight into your site and have that mobile burger menu ready to go. So let's get into it. What you're seeing here is the standard desktop view. And what we wanna do is turn this into a burger menu. So the menu that we get on a mobile. I have the code here. And now what I wanna do is just enable it. And then you can see that this creates our burger menu. Fully functioning, so we click it and it brings up our menu. Nice and simple. Here's the code. This is gonna be in the blog post linked below. But I'm gonna talk you through what it does. So head to nav, display none. This hides our navigation. So if I was to take it out, it would display our nav. And header actions is our button. So when I take that out, you can see our button shows. Some sites, or I've had some clients who actually want the button to stay in. And I think this can work quite well because having a prominent CTA is quite important, especially on desktop where it's possible. On mobile, it's, it's not quite as viable, but this is quite a powerful tool to have on desktop. So some people might opt to leave that in. If you do want to leave it in, then this is what the first part of your code should look like. But we'll take it out for now. Then we've got header burger display flex. So essentially what we're saying is we want to display the burger menu. If we take this out, it's not displayed anywhere. We can't click it. It's, it's just not accessible. Then we've got header menu open and header menu. This is essentially this. The menu will stay visible if we were to take out the open part of the code which obviously isn't gonna isn't gonna work for us so what we want to do is pop that back in and what we're saying is that we want it to be visible and we want the opacity to be one so opacity ranges from zero to one if we were to make it zero we were to click we wouldn't see it if we were to go halfway and do five you could see it would be opaque and we would be able to open and close it which is good but then if we took out visible it wouldn't be visible whatsoever so every single element of this code plays a vital part in making this burger menu display and making it work properly so it doesn't mess up the whole desktop experience. Hopefully this has been a clear, concise tutorial and it's been a help. And if it has, please make sure to leave a like, hit subscribe and check out all of the Squarespace resources in the description below.